Hi everyone, this is Eric J. Welcome to my channel. How do you draw rocks in a sketch that is trying to describe a landscape scenery? And in this particular case, with a 0 0.1 black felt tip. In my story, this is how it all started. I was on one of the outlying islands on a piece of rock facing the sea, enjoying a warm and beautiful afternoon. For those of you who have visited my Instagram, you would have noticed that I go fishing quite often. As you see, I had quite a bit of fun fighting the snapper. That evening was a good catch. A few days later, me and my friend climbed onto that piece of rock again. This time it was my friend standing there and I was looking at him. The scene captured my attention and I quickly got my sketchbook out and started drawing. And without much thinking, I instinctively tried to draw the ripples with the shadow of the rock. The second thing I did was to draw an angler. This is important because it represents the meaning of the sketch. I hatched the seawater area to give a gradation of tone work, lighter towards the horizon and darker towards the bottom of the page. After going home, I drew clouds to give a picture depth to the sky. Thicker clouds also help to suggest a smaller contrast between light and dark so that there are rooms for me to put details on the rock later on. I have also started to draw some details on the rocks in the background. This way, I have tested whether the amount of details I'm putting on the rock is convincing or not in light of the overall brightness of a mid-afternoon sun. Now I have got half of my drawing done. I have the afternoon sunlight gently reflected on the seawater surface. I've got a nice gradation of tone work across the water from the bottom to the top. The shadow and the ripples are also working nicely. And strong shadow has been put on to suggest the importance of the person. Details should only be put on the side of the rock, leaving the rest of the drawing white. And also the split between the rocks. Rock is organic, comes in all kinds of shapes, texture and color. This rock is closer and therefore the rock details are seen at different scale. I've drawn the details of this rock a little bit different from those on the one at the background. In this drawing, I wasn't trying to imitate what the rocks I've seen were exactly look like. That would be extremely difficult on such a small piece of drawing with only a black felt tip. And at the end, I find no reason to justify spending hours and hours of work to imitate the rocks on a quick sketch. So what I've decided here is just to give sufficient details to the rocks to describe them, but the amount of details must be in balance with the overall composition. So the drawing process here is like a robotic arm going haywire, perpetuating mini fog lines and craters, but the overall control must be maintained. The shading and the shadow must have an overall obedience to the physics of light. So more details to the surface in shade, leaving the surface facing the light in white. I had a lot of fun going through this. I can just draw the rock in any shape I want. It is absolutely free creativity. So black, grey and white not overlapping or interlocking. However. Sometimes you have to break rules. See, this side of the rock is supposed to face directly opposite to the sun and therefore it should be darker than the adjoining surface. Making it darker agrees with the three-dimensional quality. So I'll cross-hatch this area but has to be very careful. You don't want the cross-hatching to confuse with the details. This sketch is not just a capture of a scene.
but also a representation of my impulsion to snapshot a very personal feeling of the assignment you get while holding a fishing rod. But at the same time, I also wanted to describe shape and texture of objects. You have to have a very delicate balance between describing mood and describing objects. This balance is a decision to be made by everyone who try to draw. The rock is all drawn, but for the balance of the picture, the bottom right hand corner cannot have that much white. Now I can draw the details of the rock at foreground for this purpose, but I think this is inappropriate. Drawing out details over the whole picture is often not good practice, especially for a sketch. You want to leave some area white so that the details and importance of elsewhere on the same drawing can be elaborated. So I'll just give a very gentle touch up by hatching at the corner of the page. Just hatching to counterbalance the weight of the top right hand corner. Finally, I will use a correction pen to touch up. The idea is to make sure that the drawing is not too sketchy and white area will not have too many lines crossing over onto them. Equally, the black area should be very black so as to maintain maximum contrast among different elements. This is to make sure the area that meant to be white is very white to help giving definition. So there you go, rocks at the sea waterfront under a mid-afternoon sun. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe my channel and like my videos.